So you mentioned uh, someone that's a property manager taking care of answering the phone, but then also they've got to worry about the trash, correct? And so that would be more of a maintenance concern, but they would be overseeing, making sure, okay, does the property look good? So you have a really good PM there on top of it. The property manager um, that's on site is going to be on top of, okay, we have a trash issue. Uh, we need to get a, a more frequency pickup. If that's, where's the trash issue, right? It's root cause. So there, the good PM is going to uh, take care of the on-site issues. They're not going to necessarily dire directly take care of picking up the trash. They're going to have their maintenance do those type of things. And is this a reoccurring problem or is this a one-time problem? It'll be up to them to handle it. Then you step up, asset management, make sure that the PM and the maintenance of the property management company is doing their job. A property management company is going to have their property manager on site, maintenance, and then a regional. A regional is going to be over several properties. So now we have an issue. Asset management has an issue with property management company because we've got consistency on trash. The phones aren't being, being answered and all of those things. Property management is going to, going to present the KPIs that the asset management wants to see. So this is kind of us tracking into that workshop that we did on Friday on how the communication, how the KPIs, how information tracks up and down, uh, you know, from ownership to asset management, to property management, to property manager, over to maintenance, we've got issues. And so now do we need a part-time because this is a heavy lift to get us started, right? We're coming in ownership with 70% um, occupied. We might need a little bit more answering the phones and getting, you know, getting, getting it up to a certain degree of, of uh, stabilization.